So today we're going to install the latest version of Ruby on uh, Windows 10. So let's get to it. Okay. Open your browser and for the Windows installer. So Ruby normally is here. This is the website for Ruby, the open source uh, website. But actually for to get the Windows installer, what you need to do is go to Ruby installer.org and it says here Ruby installer for Windows say download and here you will see two versions uh, or two two kind of options you get when you want to download and install Ruby one is with dev kit and the other is without dev kit the one you should get is the one with dev kit okay and the reason for that is uh, over here if you notice it says that Ruby has a lot of gems which actually uh, require C and C++ extensions to build. So for that, you need the dev kit. So therefore, you should get this one, right? And I'm going to get the X641 because I've got Windows 10 64-bit version. So click on that, say save, and it will download. Uh, I've actually already downloaded this, so I'm going to stop this and go to where I've downloaded it earlier to save time. So software here you go so it's the exact same version so the one we are going to install is 2.7.1 so click on that accept the license uh, make sure all these checkboxes are sort of clicked before proceeding install next and uh, so now it's basically going to go through its process of installing uh, ruby so first it will install ruby and then later on, it will install, install the msys2 kind of tool chain. Okay, and we'll see how that happens as well. And while this is happening, this is kind of unattended. I wanted to show you, if you go to the Ruby website, so rubylang.org, right? And if this is the, and if you had a previous version of Ruby, and you were upgrading to the 2.7 series so for example let's say you were on 2.4 2.5 2.6 or whatever uh, what will happen is if you click on the changes for 2.7.1 you actually don't see a lot of differences mentioned between the this version of ruby that is 2.7 and 2.6 right so if you want to see that like what has actually changed in Ruby between 2.6 and 2.7, you've got to scroll down and click on this one, which is 2.7.0. So the .0 o release is the one where you can see a lot of changes, right? So this is actually where you can see some, some features mentioned. So for example, pattern matching, REPL improvement, compaction GC, etc. right? So this is where sort of the main, uh, like, so when you, for example, if you type in, uh, you know, Ruby 2.7, what's new? Uh, th these are the kinds of things that you may be interested in. So these are some new features. Uh, this one's experimental, for example, but there are some other features which are stable. So for example, this one and this one are stable features, right? So I just thought I'd point this out. So for example, if you do this same process for the 2.8 series, you can kind of do it the same way. I mean, we'll actually do videos for 2.8.2, but just in case, okay? So let's minimize this. Uh, this is almost finishing. So this actually will install Ruby and then it will open a command line prompt uh, where we will have to sort of just install uh, the msys2 toolchain, right? So it, this, the I, this dev kit that I've asked you to install actually will take a little longer compared to the standard Ruby install but it is worth it because when you do development, uh, you will actually need a lot of the tools that msys2 comes with, okay? So in case, I mean, this is just in case you want to know what msys2 is. So let me just click through this. Okay, so this is basically a tool chain which allows you to kind of build uh POSIX compatible stuff on Windows, right? Uh, the way you would do it normally from a Linux command line with GCC or something like that. So let's just wait for this to finish. Uh, 
shouldn't be long now. So the thing is, I want you to kind of, I wanted, I didn't want to sort of, uh, you know, fast forward through this because there will be a command prompt that sort of opens up once this gets over. And I want you to sort of see how we go through all of this. I don't think we need the web browser for now. So let me just close this down. I'll post links as well in the description. So in case you want, you know, to find out anything, I can do that. Uh, so it says here, completing the Ruby installation and we now actually want to do msys2, right? So I'll say finish. And this is what I was telling you about. Uh, you don't really need to bother about this. All you just do is say enter. This also takes a little bit of time. Uh, msys, this msys toolchain actually is a one-time installation. You don't really have to do it when you get a new version of Ruby. But uh, I prefer to kind of just do a clean install and sort of delete and uninstall the previous version before installing the new one on Windows. Because Windows, I mean, I know they're working on a package manager, but as of yet, they don't really have a package manager. So we're done. Okay, enter and that's it. Uh, just to confirm that everything works as advertised, let's open PowerShell and see if Ruby is installed properly. So if you get this, it says Ruby 2.7.1 patch level 83 and some date and revision uh, hash or something like that. It means that basically Ruby is installed, right? And just to button this up, we can do a hello world. So you say puts hello world and that's it. Okay. So to quit from this, you can just exit, exit and you're done. Okay. So that's uh, Ruby 2.7.1 on Windows 10. Uh, we shall put up more videos like this of different programming languages. So see you in the next one. Thank you.